Hey folks, Tony Lockhart here, and in this video, what we're gonna do is take a deep dive into the tool properties. Um, this tab is probably one of the uh, tabs that I use the most with Storyboard Pro because it's really, really helpful. Um, so let's just kind of have a quick look. I'm gonna focus right now on using the brush tool. So one of the things I could do with the tool properties is to increase the size of the brush, which is really helpful. Um, of course, we learned in other videos that if you hold down O and you drag, you can increase or decrease the size of the actual button. Okay, so give that a shot. You can actually click this arrow and the arrow is going to pop open a separate uh, properties window and then you can go and change attributes of the brush. So you should go and explore that as well. I like to keep the brushes at a default state, um, but you know, uh, I found that some artists really enjoy um, making their brushes customized. Okay, so that looks pretty good. I'm gonna just go delete this layer, hit the trash can, and let me click on another one and start. Okay, one of the other things you could do is to, to select different types of brushes in the tool properties. So uh, you should go give that a shot. Definitely explore and see what kind of line thickness you can get. Um, you know, with the brushes that you use. I got a ton of them. That's soft brushes, and you can make your own brushes if you like, but uh, there's a ton of stuff that you can get away with. And they have a, they have a pretty strong drawing engine. It uh, works really well, I like it a lot. Okay, so um, definitely give that a shot. Figure out which ones are good for you, okay? Now, I'm gonna just go select all this stuff. Let's delete it. And let me just go back to the brush and then I'm gonna select just like a pretty standard tilting. There we go. Um, so at the bottom of the uh, this, this section or this top section of the tools property, um, there are some things that you can do. For instance, I'm gonna just scribble right here. Let me choose a different color. And then I'm gonna go and hover over this button which says draw behind. So now I'm just gonna go and draw like this. And then once I let go, you can see that it's actually drawn behind the actual line work. Might be good to help you out with some kind of a pattern that you're trying to go and uh, create. So just uh, give that a shot, have some fun with it. Notice it goes all the way behind. And then I'll do that again. And then of course, if I release the draw behind, then if I pick a different color, it's gonna draw right on top, okay? And there you go. Um, by the way, that's selection tool. So when you go into the uh, the tool properties, you can see that different aspects of the tool of that specific tool has changed as well. So what you should do is, as you get more comfortable using this app, um, click on these different things because they will unlock different characteristics of the tool that you're trying to work with. Okay. Um, let's talk about the color picker. Color picker is super fun. When I'm storyboarding, pretty much I'm just using all of these grays. Maybe if I'm doing something with camera direction or like action, if I'm too lazy to board out multiple uh, panels, then I'll just I'll put uh, I'll put some arrows to say characters walking towards the camera. Um, but you know what you do is you basically you you pick your tool and then you select on the color that you want and then you're good to go. You can also um, with your color selected, you can kind of go modify it and then you could get different colors out of it. Um, and it depends on what you're going to use the app for. So if you're going to use Storyboard Pro to do some really nice illustrations, this might be a good idea. If you're going to use it just for some rough boarding and maybe some storyboard revisions, you're probably just going to use the grayscale. Okay. And I guess let's do one more thing. How would you make your own color? So what you do is you hit the plus sign over here you can see that there's a brand new color and another uh, color swatch and then you just go pick the color that you like um, actually, let's hit that plus sign okay you got to select the color first then you go hit the plus sign and then what happens is, is you get new colors okay so notice I'm gonna get a gradation of greens and they're gonna get progressively darker because I keep adjusting the slider to add in black paint and then I keep um, hitting the plus sign. So you can see that we've got, uh, let me just delete all this. Press delete, let me go back to my brush, press O, make it a little bit bigger, and then you can see 
Uh, as I select these, I, I had a bunch of different colors. Um, oops, a bunch of different colors that are progressively uh, lighter. Okay. Um, also, depending on the brush you have, the pressure sensitivity will cause it to um, apply more color or not. That, that's the case with this one. You can see this second color. I think I just pressed really lightly on it. Okay, so just go give this a shot and explore. Um, use the tool properties and pick any tool that you like and use the tool the way you normally would, but go and make adjustments in the tool properties to see how things go and to see how things change. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.